My name is Surya Hengen. I'm a professor with the Faculty of Engineering and the director of Windy Research Institute. Uh, wind tunnels, they have been with us for more than 100 years now, and all of them, they basically blow, in, blow air in one direction and blow it uniformly. Uh, what Windy does, it actually uh, creates a very interesting wind systems which are much more realistic compared to what wind tunnels can do. And some of those are the wind systems which are coming from thunderstorms. So thunderstorms create wind systems which are very localized, are three-dimensional and very short in time. So the, the two main manifestations of that, that everybody knows, tornadoes, and the other one are microbursts or downbursts. So those systems are extremely damaging, uh, mostly in North America, including Canada. And this is the uh, novel facility in the world that actually studies the effects of those winds on structures, buildings, energy devices, forests, etc., etc. The interesting thing with this facility is that we have demonstrated that we can actually copy real tornadoes. So we reference the measurements here to measurements that people they actually do in real tornadoes. Tornado basically has two components. It has a rotation, which is we call it a twist, and it has a suction. Yeah. So the fans on the periphery, they inject air, and in front of the fans, there are louvers. So we put those louvers at different angles. So the air that comes into the chamber comes with a twist or a rotation. Then we ran, we ran the fans which are above us in reverse, which means we create a negative pressure, a suction, essentially. So then you have a twist in the chamber and a suction upstream. So basically that creates tornadoes. All wind tunnels in the world, including Windy, work based on the principle of scaling, which means uh, we cannot reproduce reality at the scale of the reality. So basically, we geometrically scale down things. So a bulk number for our geometric scale, which is the ratio between a dimension in nature and a dimension in Windy, is roughly around 200. So what is 200 meters in reality is basically one meter in windy. Windy has the capacity actually to vary those scales. So sometimes we can go and test things at the scale one to one. For instance, we can test, test solar panels as they are in full scale, but nobody can do that. Or we have more sophisticated methods like uh, we call that particle image velocimetry, which are basically based on laser or on light measurements that can take an area of the flow and characterize it. We do this for tornadoes, for instance, in horizontal slices. We, in fact, one more thing, we are inventing new methods to characterize the flow because our flows here compared to uh, any other lab, they're huge. Uh, it's, it's a huge lab. So the typical methods, they are very difficult to be employed here. So we are now inventing other methods to do that. Windy sits at an intersection between pure research, which we do, we do with grad students and postdocs and things like that, industry interest, uh, but also it's educational. Uh, so this is why I'm saying that I'm, I'm glad that you guys are here because this provides us exposure to the younger minds of the university, that they are curious. So it's, it's good to know that Wind is here. One thing which has not been explored too much, but that I think there is huge potential, is this educational uh, part of Windy, which I think relates very nicely with what you guys are doing. So.